Alright, this reading is Studying the Weather. Meteorologists are scientists who study the weather. Weather is the condition of the air in an area and it is always changing. That is why meteorologists must constantly observe and measure those conditions. They use weather instruments to gather information so they can predict the weather. Meteorologists measure the temperature of the air. They observe cloud patterns. They measure how much rain or snow falls. They measure the speed and direction of the wind. Temperature. Temperature is a measure of how hot the air is. Temperature is measured with a thermometer. There are many kinds of thermometers. The most common kind is a liquid thermometer. A liquid thermometer is a thin glass tube connected to a small bulb of liquid. As the liquid warms and cools, it expands and contracts. The height of the column of liquid in the tube changes in response to the temperature. By labeling the liquid tube to show temperatures, the meteorologist can read the temperature directly from the thermometer. Metals also expand and contract in response to temperature change. Some temp thermometers use strips made of two different metals to detect temperature changes. These are called bimetallic thermometers. The two metals have different rates of expansion. One side of the strip expands more than the other as it heats up, and the strip bends. A pointer at the end of the bending strip points to the temperature. Precipitation. Some clouds bring rain or snow. Water in any form that falls to earth from clouds is called precipitation. Precipitation is measured using a rain gauge. The kind of precipitation that falls depending on how cold the air is. Precipitation falls as rain when the air between the clouds and earth's surface is warmer than zero degrees Celsius. Most precipitation falls as rain. Sleet forms when rain passes through air that is cooler than zero degrees Celsius. Because the temperature is below zero degrees Celsius, the raindrops freeze, forming bits of ice. Hail forms in thunderstorm clouds, especially when there are strong winds blowing large droplets of water upwards. To form hail, a large part of the cloud has to be below zero degrees Celsius. Hmm. Snow falls from clouds made of tiny ice crystals. If the air between the clouds and earth is cooler than zero degrees Celsius, the ice crystals do not melt as they fall. Wind speed. Moving air is called wind. Meteorologists are interested in how fast the wind is moving. To measure wind speed, meteorologists use anem an anem anem words today. anemometer and wind meters. An anemometer uses a rotating shaft with wind catching cups attached to the top. The harder the wind blows, the faster the shaft rotates and the faster the cups move through the air. The moving cups measure the wind speed. A wind meter is an instrument with a small ball in a tube. When the b wind blows across the top of the tube, the flow of air up the tube lifts the ball. The harder the wind blows, the higher the ball rises. Both instruments are adjusted to report wind in miles per hour or kilometers per hour. Wind direction. Meteorologists are also interested in the direction that wind is blowing. To find out wind direction, meteorologists use a wind, wind vane. A wind vane is a shaft with an arrow point at one end and a broad paddle shape at the other end. When wind hits the paddle, it rotates the shaft so that the arrow points in the, into the wind. Using a compass, meteorologists find out the direction that the shaft is pointing. Wind direction is the direction from which the wind is blowing. It is reported in compass directions such as north and south. Modern weather instruments. Meteorologists now use a combination of traditional weather instruments and computer-based digital weather instruments. Meteorologists get information from advanced electronic instruments that are placed in good locations for monitoring, monitoring weather. Those instruments use radio transmitters, like those in cell phones, to send information to weather centers where meteorologists work. This weather device for home use has electronic instruments inside for detecting and reporting temperature and humidity. Some model... Some models measure air pressure and are connected to anemometers to measure wind speed. Weather balloons carry weather instruments high into the sky. The weather instruments gather information about air temperature, wind speed, and wind direction. They gather information about wind air pressure. Air pressure is the force of air pushing on things around it. Weather balloons also provide information about humidity. Humidity is the amount of water in the air. All this information helps meteorologists predict what weather is coming. They can make forecasts that help people know what to expect. We need to know the weather to make choices about what to wear, how to travel, and what events to plan.
Go ahead. And then I want you guys to answer questions one through four. One, who are meteorologists and what do they do? Two, how do we measure air temperature, wind direction, and precipitation? Three, what do meteorologists use weather balloons for? And four, why is it important for meteorologists to be able to forecast the weather?